Congress MP Shashi Tharoor, who has now been cleared of all charges in connection with the death of his wife, uh, Sunanda Pushkar. He had been accused of abetment to suicide by the Delhi police. Remember, his wife, uh, uh, Sunanda Pushkar, was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Delhi back in 2014. Uh, now, reacting to the order, Shashi Tharoor said that after seven and a half years of torture, the nightmare has finally ended. Uh, Minakshi, if you can take us through the details here, this obviously coming in as big relief to Shashi Tharoor. Well, that, uh, definitely, I mean, this will be seen as a major shot in the arm for Shashi Tharoor. The court has gone ahead and exonerated Mr. Tharoor of all charges, including that of abetment to suicide. Now, a discharge assumes a lot of import. It is somewhere more significant that, than even an acquittal. Because what a discharge means essentially is this, that the prosecution and the Delhi police in this case failed to submit any material of any substantive value basis which the court could order Mr. Tharoor to undergo the trial process. So he no longer has to even undergo the trial process because the material was so insufficient and flimsy that the court went ahead and discharged Mr. Tharoor uh, in this particular case. We also heard from him through the statement that he released saying that it has been a long, tumultuous, uh, nightmarish a sort of a struggle for him. He's been subjected to a lot of vilification. His counsel's pitching in, uh, Mr. Gaurav Gupta, on record to tell Mirror now as to how uh, they constantly believe uh, in the justice system of this country. And they also uh, constantly believed uh, when Mr. Shashi who told them about the truthfulness of his uh, uh, bona fides in this entire case. So to cut a long story short, uh, this is an order of great import because this was a highly... Uh, routinized uh, case uh, in the public domain, in media circles. And uh, Mr. Tharoor was subjected to a lot of suspicion and a vilification campaign, as he termed it, uh, as a result of the ongoing probe. And today, a court, a valid judicial court, has passed a judicial order saying that there is nothing substantive in this case to order Mr. Tharoor to even undergo a trial process. Amin.